Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Monday of the 20th week in ordinary time in which we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth through you. Now in glory you rejoice forever with the Lord. Our first psalm is Psalm 63, entitled, A Soul Thirsting for God. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my body, my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth through you. Now in glory you rejoice forever with the Lord. The Virgin Mary is exalted above the choirs of angels. Let all believers rejoice and bless the Lord. Our canticle this morning is taken from Daniel, entitled, Let All Creatures Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. The Virgin Mary is exalted above the choirs of angels. Let all believers rejoice and bless the Lord. The Lord has made you so glorious that your praise will ever, never cease to resound among men. Our second psalm is Psalm 149, entitled, The Joy of God's Holy People. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's son exalt in their king. 
Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. <clears throat> The Lord has made you so glorious that your praise will never cease to resound among men. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bride bedecked with her jewels. Today, we celebrate the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. On November 1st, 1950, Pius XII defined the Assumption of Mary to be a dogma of faith. We pronounce, declare, and define it to be a divinely revealed dogma that the Immaculate Mother of God the ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul to heavenly glory. The Pope proclaimed this dogma only after a broad consultation of bishops, theologians, and laity. There were few dissenting voices. What the Pope solemnly declared was already a common belief in the Catholic Church. We find homilies on the Assumption going back to the 6th century, in the following centuries, the Eastern churches held steadily to the doctrine, but some authors in the West were hesitant. However, by the 13th century, there was universal agreement. The feast was celebrated under various names, commemoration, dormition, passing, assumption, from at least the 5th or 6th century. Today, it is celebrated as a solemnity. Scripture does not give an account of Mary's assumption into heaven. Nevertheless, Revelation chapter 12 speaks of a woman who is caught up in the battle between good and evil. Many see this woman as God's people. Since Mary best embodies the people of both the Old and New Testament, her assumption can be seen as an exemplification of the woman's victory. Furthermore, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20, Paul speaks of Christ's resurrection as the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Since Mary is closely associated with all the mysteries of Jesus' life, it is not surprising that the Holy Spirit has led the church to belief in Mary's share in his glorification. So close was she to Jesus on earth, she must be with him body and soul in heaven. Our responsory, Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. For all eternity she shares the victory of Christ. The Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Glory to the <coughs> Excuse me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Our Canticle of Zechariah. This daughter of Jerusalem is lovely and beautiful as she ascends to heaven like the rising sun at daybreak. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
for you'll go before the Lord, prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This daughter of Jerusalem is lovely and beautiful as she ascends to heaven like the rising sun at daybreak. Our intercessions. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You are our redeemer who made the immaculate Virgin Mary your purest home and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Make us temples of your spirit forever. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. King of Kings, you lifted up your mother body and soul into heaven. Help us to fix our thoughts on things above. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, you crown Mary and set her at your right hand as queen. Make us worthy to share this glory. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. God of love, you chose Mary to be the mother of your son, Jesus, and her life's end, you raised her body and soul to heaven. In faith we pray, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. Fashion your church into leaven for transforming the world. Let us pray, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. Help us to safeguard life and protect the dignity of every person. May your mother, let us pray, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. Heal those who suffer affliction of mind, body, or spirit. Let us pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict, they may know God's presence and peace. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. We pay. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff. For Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish or to the center. But especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be sick or who have died. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All-powerful and ever-living God, you raise the sinless Virgin Mary, mother of your Son, body and soul, to the glory of heaven. May we see heaven as our final goal and come to share her glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God lead us to rejoice always in the loving care of Mary, the bearer of the eternal word. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.